Sherry Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow Books and Artist Tablet Book. In this video, we will explore thick paint and how settings in the thick paint brush panel can affect the look of brush strokes. The painting that you see here is South Pacific Sunrise and it was painted with a variety of the thick paint bristle brushes that I made for painter, including the Smooth Round Oils, Real Bristle Oils Filbert, and Real Bristle Oils Van Short. As you can see, the Smooth Round Oils variant of thick paint is chosen in the brush selector. Open the brush selector by clicking the arrow and you can see the thick paint category is chosen and the Smooth Round Oils variant is chosen. To open the brush panel for thick paint, the quickest way to do that is to click the thick paint brush panel icon on the property bar. The Smooth Round Oils is a thick paint brush that paints with volume. Here I'm using the default brush and now we're going to turn on infinite paint which will allow us to paint with an endless stroke. The next setting we're going to want to look at is paint load. Now the paint load is the amount of paint in the brush. The default for this brush is 35%. Let's turn, let's paint another puddle of paint here with the default and let's turn this up to 100%. We'll see, we'll get a lot more paint. Now, in contrast, let's turn this all the way down to 10%. See, we have much less paint loaded. Now let's look at brush density. Brush density is the number of wells that deposit paint. The default is 85. Let's make sure we have our brush set at our default. So I'm going to go to brushes, restore default variant. We're going to paint a puddle of paint here again. And brush density is 85. Let's turn it up to 100. See what happens. Very slow, very dense brush stroke. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um, now let's turn that down really low, say 10% uh, and see what we have. So you see for brush density, the sweet spot is, a, you know, 50%. Let's go here, get a softer look, still some overlap. My favorite was the 85. The next settings that we're going to look at are the settings in the blending section of the brush panel. You'll see the default of the smooth round oils has a resaturation of 30 and a bleed of 30, which is balanced. Now the resaturation is actually the flow of the color coming through the brush and the bleed is, is how much the colors are going to mix, so how much new color will mix or blend with existing color. So we're going to begin with the default setting right here and we're just going to put down some paint, a few strokes here, and I'm going to choose another color and this is the default brush, so you don't see a whole lot of blending. This color is balanced with this and it pretty much lays over the top. Now we're going to change the settings. I'm going to turn the reset down to just a few, turn min reset down to zero. We're going to turn bleed up to 100 and I'm going to paint some blue here and then we're going to get some of the rose color So you see we get more of a blended look. with the brush. Understanding the clumpiness section in the brush panel will allow you to give your brushes personality. The default settings for the smooth round oils have a low bristling. 
So let me just paint a stroke with the default. So you see it's very smooth. Now if we turn this up to 80, we're going to get a lot of bristle look. Turn it back down. Now with the paint, you see we also get a variation. So we'll turn that back down. And with the color, with the bristling slider, you set variation in the width of the brush wells. With the paint slider, you adjust the variation of the paint volume in a stroke, like you see right here. And with the color, you set the variation along the stroke of when each bristle color will mix. Now we're going to look at the palette knife settings. So as you see in the brush selector, I have the oils palette knife chosen to activate the palette knife settings. And I'm going to make a stroke. Just pull down broad stroke, tilt my stylus this way for another stroke now. When enabled, corner tilt allows us to make thick and thin strokes depending on how we tilt the knife. Here we get a little bit thicker here, a little bit thinner. So it's very nice for detail work. You can also specify the start and end angles for more variety in your palette knife strokes. Plow paint section of the panel is grayed out because the paint type is chosen. We're going to briefly open the media panel and change to plow paint and close it. So now we have access to these controls. The strength determines how much paint will be displaced by the brush and the radius is how sharp the edges are plowed. So let's paint some strokes. With the default we can increase this up to 100. So we get the effect of going in deeper and then if we increase the radius then we can even carve in deeper to the paint. And we can also set an expression and have it, it change according to pressure or velocity, for instance. We're going to have fun with more palette knife explorations in a later video. So I hope you enjoyed exploring the thick paintbrush panel with me, and happy painting! Mm -hmm.